We have some breaking news in the last 30 minutes. Governor Tom Wolf put out a statement on the measles cases in Allegheny County, saying the state has been supporting Allegheny County in any way it needs and stands ready to offer additional support as needed. And Peggy, while most people in the area have been vaccinated, Channel 11 is finding out who's most at risk. Here is the latest for you now. The number of cases stands at five confirmed in Allegheny County. And while that is a low number, the county health department says it's enough for the CDC to consider this an outbreak in Allegheny County. Channel 11's Aaron Martin joins us live tonight with the breaking information on that patient who traveled through Pittsburgh International Airport. Aaron. And David, within the last 15 minutes or so, I spoke with the CDC who did confirm some new information about where that traveler came from, a child. Now, of course, we've been hearing a lot about that one traveler that was at Newark International Airport. It turns out this is the same traveler that was in Pittsburgh. In fact, the CDC tells me it was a child that came from Tel Aviv, Israel to Newark International Airport to Pittsburgh International Airport where that child was in Terminal A at the airport. Now, keep in mind, this is one of the, actually, in fact, one one doctor told me the most contagious disease that is known right now, which is why this is such a concern. But as you mentioned, there were just those five confirmed cases. Now back out here live, we're at Children's Hospital, where today I've been speaking with doctors about this very issue, including the steps that they're taking to make sure that their patients are protected, particularly those who have those weakened immune systems. Sometimes people think, well, measles is just a fever and a rash. But it's not. It's a serious and deadly disease. As the chief of infectious disease at Children's Hospital, Dr. John Williams doesn't mince words when it comes to protecting yourself against the measles. If you wait until you're sure they have measles, it's too late. So vaccination is really the only effective intervention. There are now five confirmed cases of the measles in Allegheny County, with four in the same household. The county does have one of the highest vaccination rates in Pennsylvania, with more than 96% of students getting immunizations. But the spread of measles is always a concern for Carla University professor Susan Mahashevik. It could be contaminating surfaces and then other um, people who have no idea that someone is sick, they're around them in the classroom, they're around them in the cafeteria, that also extends to patients with weakened immune systems, one of the primary concerns for doctors at Children's Hospital. What protects my pediatric patients who have weak immune systems from measles is not them getting the vaccine, it's me getting the vaccine so I don't give it to them. All right, uh, so Aaron, the one thing people keep asking us about is how effective the vaccine is and who might need a second vaccine. Can you walk us through that? Yeah, David, really the big thing here is it really depends on how many vaccines you got. Keep in mind, this is a two step process. If you had the first vaccine, you're about 93% protected from the me from the measles. Now, if you had that second vaccine, which usually comes between four and six year old, that number goes up to 96% or 97%, excuse me, which obviously is much more significant. The thing to keep in mind here, though, is if you were born between 1957 and 1989, this was the period when they were only giving that one one vaccine, not the second one. So you may need a second shot in order to make sure you are fully protected, particularly if you're in a situation where you have a weakened immune system. David.